Hey there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. Here at Spark Fun, we keep a constant and current selection of components and boards on hand to help you propel your projects and your skill set ever forward. Of course, how could one be expected to assemble all those components to create that electronic magnum opus without the proper tools? Therefore, we also keep on hand quite a fair selection of tools to help you out. So this week, we're introducing a new and improved version of an old classic. Let's take a look at the 303D Hot Air Rework Station. This workbench necessity heats up quickly and maintains very precise temperature accuracy thanks to its closed loop temperature control. It also has an intelligent cooling system that maintains airflow after the unit's powered off until the air temperature is below 100 degrees C. It also has a temperature range expanded slightly from the previous model from 100 to 500 degrees C and has a temperature offset function as well as an auto sleep function. It's built with an anti-static design and runs quite quietly at below 40 decibels. It's got a handle length, including the airline, of 120 centimeters and a removable power cable in case you want to swap it out for use in another country, provided it's a country that uses 110-120 volt mains. The 303D Hot Air Rework Station includes a wand holder that can be mounted on either side of the unit and two different sized round nozzles. As the name implies, this is the ideal tool for reworking SMD or even PTH solder issues. If you're prototyping a board and you find that an SMD resistor has tombstoned, or you've got an IC or LED that's in the wrong orientation, this is going to be the perfect tool to resolve that issue. Now, there are a few other things that I would strongly recommend when doing hot air rework. Now, they are a helping hand unit uh, of any kind. You can use the alligator clip type, or I use this PC bite one, which I'm really a big fan of. Additionally, you're going to want some flux to help the solder flow more easily, along with a good set of ESD safe tweezers. When reworking a board, there are a few things that you're going to want to keep in mind. You'll want to make sure that the temperature is not set too high and that you're moving the nozzle around constantly. If you let the board or even a section of it get too hot, it'll separate the layers of the board and that'll cause you to have to buy a new board or build another one if you're prototyping. Most chips can withstand a good amount of heat. I mean, they were probably originally placed on the board in a reflow oven. Now the spec sheet usually will have heat tolerances, so you may want to keep an eye on that while you're doing this. I mean, not while you're doing it, but you know, give it a glance beforehand. Also, you'll definitely want to clean up the board afterwards with something like isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, or even an alcohol wipe will do, because you're going to have a good bit of flux left on it, and that can do very bad things to the board. I mentioned in the specs that this unit has some really cool features like temperature offset and auto sleep. Now, the latter is really cool, in that when you put the handle back in the cradle, it will automatically start to go to sleep. It will increase the airflow and decrease the temperature until it shuts itself off or sleeps. And then when you pick it back up, it'll automatically go back to your settings. You can find out more about that and all the other cool features when you read the owner's manual, which I'm sure you're all going to do. There are other things that I use my hot air workflow station for as well. I use it a lot for harvesting parts off of old boards. Like, take a look at this beauty. Look at all these sliders, all these potentiometers, these tactile buttons. Uh, this is great for removing those parts and throwing them into my drawer to use at a future date, hopefully. Uh, additionally, it's great for heat shrink. It's also really useful for welding thermoplastic. I've even tinkered with it outside of the workshop and had great results there as well. Warning, this device has not been tested or authorized by the FDA for use on food and is probably not food safe. Sparkman does not condone nor recommend it be used in this manner. Rob is a trained professional. Please don't try this at home. This tool is a real workhorse and for me, probably the second most used tool on my workbench after my soldering station. But hey, don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Pick up the improved 303D hot air rework station over at sparkfun.com. And, you know, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Chris, Cassie, creme brulee. Warning, this device has not been tested nor authorized by the FDA for I mentioned in the specs that this unit has some really cool features like, like what? What's the first one? Oh yeah, temperature offset. Pick up your own improved 303D hot air rework station at sparkfun. What happened? Oh, you were just getting ready for creme brulee. <laughs> we're bringing you an updated version of an old classic or standby. Yeah, classic.
Therefore, we also keep on hand quite a fair selection of tools. Yeah, I don't think I need to say so. This week, we're introducing an upgraded version of an, upgraded version of an old classic. But hey, don't take my word for it. Pick up your new, pick up your own improved. I'm excited about creme brulee. <laughs>